as they improve their life. And then in Christian values, he had stood so bright for Christian leadership. It's an honor to present to you all President George W. Bush. Museum curator, Betty Sue Beebe, making me aware that today would not be President Bush's first time to visit our campus. She informed me that in 1970, George H.W. Bush, who was running for the U.S. Senate, made a non-political appearance at UMHB and spoke in chapel. That day, he was accompanied by his son, George W. Bush, as you see in the photos on the screen. Take a look at that handsome young man in the background. <laughs> President Bush is recognized by the university for his many years of public service to Texas, the nation, and the world. In July of 1992, in St. Louis, when we were being presented to by the Astros, you were the person who spoke for us and uh, made it sound so easy. <laughs> My heart, I called mother and said, Mother, I'm running for governor against Ann Richards. She said, you're not going to win. <laughs> Dear old mom, they asked me at the Pentagon uh, right after the 9-11 attacks uh, about uh, Osama bin Laden. And I said, we're going to get him dead or alive. And Laura, when I got back to the resident, said, I, I think you should have been a little more diplomatic in your language. And I said, you know, you're probably right, honey, but at least they understood me in Texas. <laughs> here in 1970, as the president mentioned, um, it, uh, it's an unbelievable place. I, 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 I don't know, blow your mind is a presidential thing to say. But, <laughs> yeah, seeing the campus facilities are just magnificent. And for all of you who support this, Fine University, I thank you for that. It makes a huge contribution to our state. For those of you who go here, I hope you realize how fortunate you are to go to such a great university. 